During my time of Swab Summer, something one of my cadres said that really stuck with me was be louder than the storm. He told us a story of a search and rescue mission he went on his third class summer and told us the importance of being louder than the storm that is surrounding you. I think as a seagoing service, that's something that's incredibly important and motivated me as a swab to get to the school year. My name is John Walsh. I'm the Battalion Swab Summer Officer here at the United States Coast Guard Academy and I oversee every single thing that happens in the Swab Summer Training Program. Week two is the end of the medical processing for the, all the swabs here on, the board, on board the Coast Guard Academy. So we had all of the physical fitness testing done, so all of the swabs completed the PFE. The swabs also finished all of their math and English placement exams for the school year, in addition to beginning the ropes course, the obstacle course, and completing their swim test. So now that all the swabs are processed, swab swimmer is completely on board. During my swab summer, some of the hardest things for me was knowing that all my friends and family back home were out barbecuing and having a good time while I was here with all my shipmates in the classroom, in the hallways, and in our rooms studying and working hard towards the goal of becoming a fourth class cadet. All of the hardship that I endured over swab summer made me end the summer with some of the best friends I've ever made in my entire life and the desire to continue to work towards that day four years from now when I, was, when I would be graduating the Coast Guard Academy. For the loved ones of the class of 2026, I just want to absolutely be sure that you know that your swabs are in good hands and the class of 2024 has been training since their swab summer to onboard the class of 2026 and train them to be ready to go fourth class year. I want you to know that these four years are going to fly by and that you're going to see transformation in your sons and daughters that you have never seen before. The next time you see them, they're going to be trained members of the military and it's definitely something special to see.